He shows everything else off. This is good, you guys. You guys like this. <coughs> Dude, that just weird me out. Yeah, I told you. It's got a wall go to me. Car. Buying. He's probably got him a fucking a kid put up in there. Look, the fucking wind. Ain't that the wind yeah. hanging out of it? Three boat tail Rivieres, you seventy three is all of them. This is the probably the worst. Hey Barry, if that GS is a stage one, wouldn't it be technically store, rare? Wouldn't it be worth truck. rebuilding? Yeah, they said, and they, they said there wasn't very many. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So if it's a stage one option car, so, wouldn't it be worth taking you know, three and making one? Well, I'm just I mean well, hey, Barry, I, I need some fifteen inch big wheels, man. What's the point? We didn't buy I'll it. give you some money for some uh, to suck on a glass dick for it. So this is one of so you're throwing your pot. Uh, you're little, yeah. I'll bet that motherfucker ain't got no car antenna on it, does it? Nope. I'll bet every one of his cars got broken uh, off antennas. The one that had automatic antennas, he needed crack pipes, dude. <laughs> that motherfucker snapped every antenna right, off every car he had. Hmm. And my Duster, and my Catalina. Yeah, your 343 speed yeah. rare, one of one car that they didn't make a 340 in 1974, uh, but. So here's number two. Here's my 77 three quarter ton. Chevy. My Chevy, I'm going to do something with that soon. Yeah. <laughs> How old is this video? Well, we a couple years old, Pontiac, a year or two. Pontiac, 1966 uh, Holy Bonnet shit. Yeah. Look at the second one. Excuse me. Look at the, the cow, you guys. See here, but there's two of them. We've Look got. right there. We've got two of these and then two of them Hotel Rivieras. Excuse me. Three, three. Of Hotel Rivieras. Two more to show you. There's my little Geo Prism I got from my great friend. Scrap Humphrey it, junk. G. That one and three other cars. Oh, scrap it. Is this sitting there? Yeah, it's still sitting there. Here's the back of some of these here. Here's hey, the, this motherfucker, the it's right why he hasn't pulled the engine out of them cars, dude. Because he just likes looking at him and saying, I own three motel wimmies. They all this junk. My yard. This is my field. So, I don't Looks like your front yard to me, but what do I know? This is the front field of dreams. Is what we call Man, it. Russ Valley ought to sue your fucking ass. I swear to God, they should yeah, be like, hey, man, you, you can't use the Field of Dreams. That's the trademark Russ Valley. Russ Valley shit. Front field of dreams. This is my driveway, and the cars are parked off to the God side. God damn, Barry. This is in a formula Love fucking video. You show us what a field is, what a driveway is. Say, it's there in a the yard. They are. They need to be graveled underneath there. We need to move. This you one, can see uh, the property line. You can see the fence, yep, right? Yep. He's got his shit right up against that fucking garage. That it's shit wouldn't mine. be happening if that was mine. If that mother would come up from it and I get it, he'll be moving that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, As he said, fit. they're going to be hooked and booked. <laughs> you bet your ass. If I could through the property up. line, you bet your ass. So that's two of the Latonia. Hey, Barry, what's that 101 one, 343 so speed fucking duster and it actually bust some cars? Your rare one of one. You need to start looking for places for rent on that yeah, fucking road, dude. Because I bet rent ain't shit on that road. Oh, Some of no. them trailers and shit, I'll bet you can rent for three, four hundred bucks. He a month. said his property fucking went down from a hundred grand to thirty grand. Like, that's not something to brag about. Because he's for shit. I mean, that, that's not how things work. I mean, it would it would have to be a, a bad thing. I mean, look at him. Look at his property. Cars don't make your property value jump down, though, right? Property value is the, the same no matter what. Looks, the way your neighborhood depictates your property value. Don't let nobody say you're different. Sure Google it. Who is your friend, folks? And the front your field. neighbor's hey. house really does depictate what your house is worth. Hey, Barry, when oh, you go in Derby no. car, that fucking piece of shit sea body you got right there. Four door junk. Why do you have more four doors than two doors? I'm just curious. And I got Damn, was it that sound spot? He's like, hmm, mm, yeah, let that sound. Uh, I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a superior being. Superior being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made my sides hurt. That's too much, man. Hey, he said that hey shit. careful, dude. He's going to get so mad. He's going to start rubbing his feet against the carpet and shoot lightning bolts all the way to the end. <laughs> We're going to be outside working. He's going to be floating above us. How dare you no, make fun of nobody me? Nobody knows you yet. Barry's got superpowers, folks. <laughs> fucking Wolverine. Superior fucking Hulk, dude. <laughs> He's gonna get so bad. Tur I'm turning green. Can you imagine the dude on the other end of that place when this cocksucker is screaming our names and saying, I'm a superior being, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I'm turning green. What's that mean, Dad? I think I had some bad sushi. <laughs> God damn small these fucking cats. <laughs> it's bugs. You forget the mucus mic. You're like, you're like, hey Ryan, don't forget to pick up my chlamydia medicine. They switch fur back up. Hey Ryan, we need more peanut butter, buddy. <laughs> I love that girl. 
Hey, he opens the fridge in the morning and goes, right. Hey, Dad, why is there a circular fucking hole in the peanut butter? He tells his buddies, Look at all the pussy I got. <laughs> <laughs> or, me, I got tons of hoes. <laughs> tons of pussy right here. Hey, Barry. I was telling you about Is this the pussy you got? Barry, please don't. It stinks. Don't make me touch it no more. <laughs> it's pretty bad when your hand runs <laughs> So, it's like the fucking hand, hand on Adam's family. It just looks like Don't let me touch it, please, please, please. He goes, Come here, hand. What the fuck is that growing off the end of it? Holy shit, that's a boy. Why does it got pus coming out of it? <laughs> Why do I? No, he's not some STDs. Dude. Why do I got. Hey, hey, Ryan. He admits it. He says it. I don't want to swap STDs with the lady. He goes, Hey, Ryan. My flare up genital warts is coming back. You need to wash that blow up doll. I got my strip of Valtrex, Ryan. There's a whole story in that car. Had one. That's an underdog, in my opinion. Yep. Best thing to you, I think that's an underdog. Everybody just dismisses their cars. We had a real nice one. We probably should have kept it. We got a solid one. Bonneville, Pontiac. It was a nice one. And we got paperwork on this one. And that Riviera out there, we had paperwork on it. Hey, Barry, how's the floor some frame? What the fuck is tape going around the window? Did you have to take it off and put it on something else and see what happened? Look. And no no stage, stage no one, stage one, one badges. badges. You're a lying motherfucker. That is no stage no, one. Google it. Google five, seven. Five, There's a whole fucking page on it. I can cut it up. Five. I mean, there ain't no four. fucking stage You're one. You're full of shit, You're Barry. You're a lying piece of shit. Why you got to ghetto fabulous? That's what I'm saying. He's not cool with just being who he is. He's ghetto fabulous. You know I mean? That means your electric lights get shut off there. Barry, go get his nails done. Look at the rust on the fucking... On the, oh, my God, that car is junk. Big hole. I hate to see that. In your brain? Or what the hell? Y'all better be careful. But but listen, Barry's words, it don't hurt him leaving sand on grass and in the dirt. It's covered my son did. Don't hurt them all. No difference between that and concrete. His words. This cocksucker said that in one of these videos. Oh, son. I'm telling you, I have to get water in, son. I think I would just be fucking happy you came out and covered your fucking car up. I mean, is it hey, no stage one up? badges. He goes to fucking work every day. Look, you can't look after the car? Look, no stage one badges. He's out of his fucking mind. Ain't no stage one. In his dreams, that's a stage one. If it was a stage one, they said it would be worth a story. Don't you, you they only bring 25 don't, grand. Don't you think he would be fucking I mean, bragging heavily about it? Like like heavy yeah. more than he does his Roadrunner? As one of one fucking wood Roadrunner? Right. I mean, that's worth a million bucks, but yet he don't have the brains to put together. Hey, Barry, when are you going to pull the fucking engine on that motorhome? Graveyard cars are selling rolling projects now, man. I mean, and you can probably get something decent from them, dude. For, they're probably going a little more than a regular person off the street, but... At least it'd be cool, man, because you'd say I got a pair of cars, you know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, he really is. I mean, he, he, he's doing pretty decent shit. He, how, he, that man, how the fuck? listen, hold on. That man is trying to save cars, Barry. Uh, this ain't saving him. What that man is doing is saving cars. You see, that's his new goal. Because he can't restore them all. Is to make sure he gets as many of these old cars back out on the road as he can. Should be everybody's should. Well, it's a piece yes. of history. There's yes, the those two Latonia cars. Okay, look, where the fuck is stage one, Barry? Yeah, where's the stage one badges? But look, on a serious note, Barry, people like you are the reason why these cars are dying. Why the hobby is dying. People like you. The guy that walks up and asks you if it's for sale and you can be all dickhead with him. Does it look like you got a fucking for sale sign on it? When you, when you come back five years later and they're all sitting in the same fucking spot. There's a green Mustang, dude. We just threw a picture up there. 73 Mach 1. And it, it, it's been oh, sitting yeah. there since it's I was a child, like, exactly like it's sitting there, exactly as a picture. If I ever get a chance to buy it, I'll buy it. Unfortunately, I'm getting old. <laughs> I don't know that it'll ever happen. There because you're something. fucking lazy. You're lazy and stupid. Into it. There you go, Barry. Barry thank you. That's the first honest thing that's come out of your cocksucking mouth the whole time you've had this channel. Look, look I don't understand this. Seriously. If you know you're not going to fucking do these cars justice, put them in the hands of people that can do them justice. That's the first sign of a real man. Of any, anything towards a real man I've seen from this cocksucker. Is no, it's not. It's no, it's not because he's still killing him. He knows it and he fucking I'm still killing him. I'm, I'm telling you, he did good. I'm, I'm telling my bitch 
that he bucked up a little bit. He did good. It's like a barbed wire fence down through there. Under that gate. Barbed wire fence? Or you know the dude that lives over there named Bob. It gives him a healthy gum job. Barbed wire fence? fence? Well, it's like, you know, it's BMW, not B&M. This is my land. He calls him and handles BMW. Yeah. Know. Know. He's a fucking idiot, man. Hey, so no stage you know, one badges. Let me guess. They fell off the tailbox barrier. That's another yeah, 70 Street Street Boat Tail. Now, this one here is probably the nicest body out of them all. But there again, 455 car. 400 turbo. Interior is nice. At least you didn't claim it's a stage one. And so my plan was. To Look at the door gap. One, Look at the door gap. The other one. It's three. really wide at the and top. And group, fucking group thin at the bottom. Look, that car is fucked. Look at the body line, you guys. Really high here. Probably just use dry trains for something. You'll never oh, use man. them. You're not going to do anything, dude. Well, Side I bet you this summer you finally put something together. What do you want to bet me, guys? I mean, I'm taking bets on it now, man. Start a pool, man. I'll put 10 bucks in it, man. I mean. Huh. Nah, I don't remember the debts. Look at the gap, homie. Open the door. He, he the door won't even open, will it? He don't remember them dents. It won't even open because it's poor. So yeah, I it's fucking rotted in half, probably. <laughs> I, don't know how I, did it. I mean, I, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they have a different transmission. I drove it neutral. From Latonia. Hey, look at that thing. Can't get a new door. This one is down a little bit. You know, she's got a big hole in the roof. That car is well worth yeah, saving, Barry. Yeah, it's not a stage one, it's not worth anything. Uh, uh, restored river areas are only worth about 25 grand, what they said the other day would look better than that was now, but now. You know what I wish? Okay, hold on, stop. Hold on. You, you just admitted again, Barry, you're killing these fucking cars. Literally, just a minute again. Now look how long his garage is. Holy shit. Hold you. Austin is right, dude. Look how long his garage is. No, it's like cut off like right here. So he has a regular shop, he could be working here. It's got a wall. Garage, Barry. I'm in a boat too. It's so probably a little sex wall. dungeon or something. He's some pervert yeah, shit he's got. I seen a little wooden door back there, but I thought that was the back door. <laughs> no. That's the door that goes in the other half yeah. of the fucking garage. Why right? wouldn't he ever show it? Right. Why wouldn't he show it? Well, he would want to show off parts or something in there. I wonder what the fuck that's about. Here's one of them OG. Got me wondering, Barry. You never realized how long a grow room in there? It's probably a grow room. Malibu. I got a Plymouth Voyager. I got it's a. It's something he don't want people store. to think about or know about because he he brags about store. everything. I want to say you know what I mean. It's about the flair. It's about the show. He would brag about this shit. He's probably got six things. Look he how long like, it is. I got parts stored back there. He would say something about it. You you you, you could tell a difference. Like when he's in there, you can see the difference. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, without a doubt. There's my first tow truck boom. Very first tow truck. Now he's only made twelve one, videos two, telling two, you guys two, this. 70s. I mean, Five Chevy but it's good. I want him to because leave the like car from in the full wheel building and everything to us. Yeah, I don't want you to work on none of them cars because why I ran up with them, I don't want to have to read your shit. Well, I got a famous guy called John Coin, and so we did some swapping. I put the boom in. Did you blow him? Yeah. You did you blow him? On your knees and said, man, I ain't there. got no money, man, but I give you a knobber and twenty cents. You blow him, Barry. I give you a knobber and a fish sandwich, buddy. If you give it to me, I'll do something with it. I really deserve it, man. Like that Mach 1. I can't afford it, man. Please give it to me. I would have looked at anybody and I'd have been like, look, man, money talks. You know what I mean? Get the fuck down the road. That was the only thing wrong with it was some lower bottom. Money talks bullshit walk. So it's blown up. Other issues, of course. Like every fucking thing you own, motor issues. Hey, Barry, is that a zero tolerance engine? Is that one of the ones that clacked a valve? I never put it on. It's probably got Triton in it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that he put in it. <laughs> uh, this boom will slide out of that it's a tube inside a tube. This thing will slide out of way How do you have a tube inside a tube? This thing you've got to mess with. Hey, Barry, you're a roadrunner. Would it be one of... I think Barry's trying to tell you he's not circumcised what it's time to tell you. He got some peekaboo. He's got a vagina now. That's all sucked up inside of him, probably. Just two very small ball, you know, pouches where his balls used to be that we all have. And just two small pouches that are empty. 
Y'all, yeah. go back and watch my video where he's wearing the wet, where he's wearing the red pants, the red fucking sweatpants he always wears. There's a shit stain. You don't see him in them no more because everything we put in about this cocksucker, he's trying to change. Yep. Finally, listen to your subscriber, Sunbury. Not that I don't subscribe to you, but and I never would. I've been telling, I told this boy from jump that there was something about you to walk around. We bought it for the 440. Hey, Barry, you ain't gonna pull jack shit out of any motorhome. You may try to hire somebody, but you ain't about that life. The only way he'll do it is if he rips the whole top of it. Yeah. If he has to actually pull it out of yeah. the motorhome, he's not You're not about that life. You're not about hard work. Look how long it is. Look how long it is. There is something in the back of that fucking thing that he's not wanting anybody to see. Because when you're standing, look at his videos where you're standing inside of it. Something don't add up. It's too short. Too short of a space. I'm thinking some pervy shit like a sex dungeon or, or something. But he would have heated shit. And I don't see, never see no smoke around right a stack or nothing. I mean, and you know he ain't got no money to have no electric heat out there. You wouldn't I mean, necessarily need no so, heat. But if it's a grow room, I guess he, you know. When springtime comes around, this thing's coming out, and I'm going to start driving this car. Never did. I wanted this car from get go. He bought it. I fixed you it. wanted it, but your boy had to go clean it out and get it out for you. Drove it for a, for, a, for a minute, then he parked it, and it's been sitting over here for a year. So there you go. Still sitting. Chris C car looking all pretty. I mean, his other neighbors. They're not even a trailer, but they put up a fucking fence because they, they didn't handle this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? He is liked though by his neighbors. I'll strap trailer trash. Hey, hey Barry, I got a question I mean, for you. I'm serious I though. I got a serious I'm question. Serious. With your neighbors, are you the guy they come to when they need help with a car? Some kind of cool little car. I bet not. <laughs> hey, Dad, we are those. Oh, stop, stop. Rewind this shit. You just said you're going to. No, I'm just joking about the rewind. He just said, I'm going to build me a car. Hang on. I want to catch it on camera. Hang on, you. All right, let's see if he says he's going to build something. He did use it all last summer. So I vowed that when springtime comes around, this thing's coming out, and I'm going to start driving this car. You never did. Is this old video? Is it? He bought it. I fixed it. I made it run a drive again, and he drove it for a, for, a, for a minute. Then he parked it, and it's been sitting over here for a year, so there you go. And there's my Christine. Christine car looking all pretty. And we got to get to that car, too. I mean, yeah, two totally different uh, There's so many Listen. jobs around here. It's not funny. There's a 454 in this truck here, and I want to give me Sorry, like a little ship or something. So and pull that 454 shit. out and drop it down in. Some now kind listen. of cool little car. And build myself a little. Thought you didn't build cars there, but 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 Barry. Swap out the cam. You lying sack of shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Any of his subscribers that watch this shit, he, he's a back talking yeah. motherfucker. He 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 don't care about you. He wants your view so for that money. Go. He's never gonna do nothing. Tail. Just say something to him that that is normal. You would say to anybody else. Bye say tail. say. That dirt looks rough, or I'm sorry, that dust looks rough, tell you. but it could be a nice car. And I swear to God, he'll bite your fucking head. And Same fucking so guys, body. I yeah, I know. But that. I fuck with you so much it about your uh, endeavor that your uh, dark sport, was, your duster out there. Dark, dark sport. You want to know funny? You want to know something funny? I don't have a demon, but I have the, the what the demon turned into. Hundred miles one way. Barry's got a lot of demons. Hell, we're Hell, we're in his fucking head. He can't do nothing without talking about us. And subscribers are finally getting fucking sick of it. I don't, I don't believe that a pedophile can make it to heaven. So, I personally don't. Because how would that work out for the little kids and stuff like Because I fully believe that every little kid that passes, is, as it, it becomes an angel, has an instinct to heaven. This motherfucker, they don't love pedophiles in heaven. You want to talk about karma, motherfucker? What about all the sh bad shit you've done in your life that you're just now starting to reap what you sowed? I want to act like you, you live this righteous life. Right. You ain't righteous, motherfucker. I have never once heard you talk about what you've actually done uh, for humanity. What have you done for, for your kids? Else. What have you done for your kids besides you bring them into this you world? Said you, you said if you had a kid like mine, you would disown him. You disown your daughter, right, Barry? Where's your other kids, Barry? Fuck. If you see something we like. You said you had six you grandkids. We know Ryan and, and, and oh, Barry. Oh, yes. You have six grandkids, right? Ryan right. don't have no kids, right? Find and if he does, where the fuck they at? Why ain't they around you, Barry? Why don't anybody and focus on the real shit, shit, the problem with you, and help put you out of out of commission? Well, that's why he's lost friends. Oh yeah, I mean, dream is, no, no. Listen, there. You know, you make I'm making a bold statement. No YouTuber that is even somewhat successful. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, associated with Beamer and Sundrop. You yeah, are on your one from this point yep. on. No matter what happens. And this doesn't stop very until I say it stops. It's not going to stop until, you're, you're, until oh, somebody sorry, picks up on it and, and, and shuts you down. You, you don't get to pick when this stops. I do. Why do you get the right to talk about African Americans like you do? And you want that? Hispanics or fucking. Italians or mixed race babies hey, or talk to little days. girls who are 61 years old saying that shit to strange little girls that you don't know talking about getting them candy and shit. You didn't say, hey, I'll give you some cash. You're talking about giving them candy. So you got that little girl fantasy in your head that young, you're a pedo, homie. That makes you a pedo. And Barry, you want that? minors. They can't buy cigarettes. They can't buy alcohol. That makes them a minor, asshole. And Barry, you want Dad to come to your driveway? Let's sign a fucking waiver. We'll come. I'm also gonna do that at the end when we drive. Yeah, I mean, help him out. We're trying to get him a thousand. Like see a how you back yourself, paint yourself out of a corner. This is chump. Check I mean, him out. Not that I want to fight you, but since you want to be so guys. hard and thuggy, and the only way you're ever gonna do nothing if I come to your driveway. I mean, I'm gonna pick up on what my phone said, man. Sorry, I'm stealing your shit, buddy. Enjoyed it earlier. Let's sign great, a contract, a waiver. You have to invite me and us to your bail. house. And, it's and the waiver's going to have to state that you release us from any criminal liability, civil liability. And you have to. And, 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 and that you openly invited us there. And the deal is, you have to fight Dad one on one. No, you don't will. He ain't going to fight, dude. He's not going to do nothing. We're out of here, you guys. He's a punk. See you later, bitch. All right, you guys. Before I edit this, Dad's got something to say. Listen, this man talks like he's this big, tough-ass gangster. I have literally gave this man every opportunity to throw us the beating that he so says he's going to throw on us. I never once said I wanted to fight him for the hundred millionth time. I never said I was going to put my hands on this man. I simply am giving him the opportunity to be the tough guy that he is. I'll rent the ring. I'll come to your driveway with the, with the legal waiver signed through an attorney. You get an attorney, I'll get an attorney. And we'll work the details out. I'll come, we'll handle it right in your fucking driveway. But it's going to be legit where I cannot face no criminal charges, no civil charges, no, no, no civil suits against me, no criminal charges. I want all liability to get out of it. That's why I said a ring. So, Barry, how are you going to get on, on PlayStation Live and talk gangsterish, dude? I said I'll come to your driveway. It's going to be legal, though. Uh, the only reason you want somebody to come to your yard is because, so you can you sit back and talk tough and call the cops to have them arrested, Barry. Yep. You made it clear, trespassing. Blah, blah, blah. You're a bitch. You're my bitch. I own you. Talk tough on PlayStation. Talk tough all you want, honey. Daddy's got you covered. And uh, See how you paint yourself out of this and then, Barry. I mean, such I can a, give you your opportunity. Such a tough guy, but you need fucking friends. And I'll, Are you going to come Friday or not? Because I bet you don't, because you went from seeing us yeah. Friday to seeing us one day. Maybe I'll go Saturday too now. I mean, and Barry, one more thing. When the, hell, when the hell did one of your last videos do 16, 1,600 views in two days? Because this is my video. And look what my video of you got. That's 1,600 people and counting in two days that have seen you for what you are and have seen your race of shit. That's subscribers and views, Barry. If we was monetized, we'd be blowing you out of the water in money, homie. Because that's what counts. Because Subscribers only get you monetized. The views on your videos, the ones that watch your commercials, the ones you interact with your subscribers, you know, the ones that you want to piss off and mouth off to and talk about killing and everything else. You, 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 you couldn't run a business. If, if somebody handed you a business, you'd have it ran on the ground in three days because you don't have the common sense and the brains to do it. Your newest video hasn't done that, has it, Barry? But you got over 20 some hundred. But I've only got 7,800 subscribers. Or 7,800. I've only got like 73 subscribers on this channel. But I've done 1,600 views in two days. So you're, answer that one, punk. You fucking genius mastermind you, you from think another that, level. You think, you're getting out of, being? you think you're getting out of anything. That's 1,600 people that have seen you're a pedophile so far. Can you imagine what it's going to be like by the end of the summer or the end of this year? 2024, Barry, is not going to be a pleasant year for you. No. Boom, bitch, in your face. Howdy, you guys. Austin, poor man's speed shop. And if this is on the other channel, the extras channel. Poor man speed shop extras. We have two channels. If you like car content, cool car content, four wheeler content, anything gasoline related, go check out Poor Man Speed Shop. Shameless plug. My couch right my this is what the channel is called. Same as this channel. Wanted to say something. YouTube, I have a junk iPhone. I will never buy another iPhone in my life. These things are fucking junk. I paid almost three hundred dollars for this phone and I don't like it. I think it's junk. I'm gonna go back to um, galaxies, which is what I've used for years, and they work great.
They don't, you don't have to pay for storage. The iPhone, for some reason, my iPhone, you got to pay for extra storage, which just sucks dick. I bought the $300 phone. I just had to pay for extras. Now, I will say this about iPhones before we get into my topic for this video. Before I bought an iPhone, an extra friend of mine told me that iPhones were, were good because I'm always cracking my screens. I'm always in the garage. I'm always accidentally dropping my shit. My phones take hell of an abuse. I, have dro I dropped this phone, and I'm not joking, probably 15 to 20 times before it finally cracked and that was only because i dropped it on the screen there they will take the abuse but as far as everything else i don't like them for some reason iphone does not or youtube whatever it is isn't showing me when you guys reply so it takes you a minute to reply back to you guys after i replied once don't think i'm a dick don't think i'm ignoring you i just have to go check replies and i usually do that late at night like tonight and don't think i'm being a dick because i'm not i love all you guys you guys are my fucking family you guys are fucking awesome Every single fucking one of you, from the bottom of my heart, our family, y'all are awesome. I love every single one of you. You guys make these channels, and without you guys, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it wouldn't be the same without showing you guys the content, showing you guys the videos, and just, I enjoy this. Even if you leave a negative comment telling me I'm a fucking idiot or I don't got no teeth, I appreciate you, and you are still family, and I still love you for that. You still, you have a right to your opinion. I won't block you. So as always, always. See you guys next time. There will be a K, an LTZ video coming here within a couple hours. I got two videos I'm editing: one for the second channel, one for this channel. So stay tuned. Again, don't think I'm being a dick. I'm not ignoring you. It may take me a minute to get back to you, but I like to reply to all you guys. Every one of you guys that comment, I try to reply to, just because I like I like the conversations. Even if it's even if it's something on how I'm stupid or I'm an idiot, I still like the conversation. I like getting the back and forth. You know, that's what all this is about. I'm creating memories. Thank all you guys again from the bottom of my heart. We're at 6, 7, we're almost 700 freaking subscribers. That's awesome to me. You guys are family. I want to trade, I would rather have all all 700 of you, or even, I'd rather have all 700 of you than anything else. You guys make the channel. Again, you guys are letting this channel grow. If you don't mind, tell a friend, hit that notification bell when all you, we get a video coming out. I've been trying to make the video shorter. That way you guys, because like, a lot of you guys like watching the shorter videos, not the hour long videos, which I understand. But I try, I'm trying to keep them 30 minutes and under just because ease of watching. So the channel is going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to have cool projects. Tell a friend about Poor Man's Speed Shop or the Poor Man's Speed Shop Extras channel. There's a lot more to come on both channels. There's some gun content coming here in a little while on the second channel. I might get my little, my, my guns out and show them off. It's not a massive collection by no means, but I've been doing it since I was 21 with my guns. Plus, I have my original, the gun my grandpa bought me, my first gun that he bought me when I was 10, 11. And I'll give you guys a story on that. Um, if you guys would like to see that kind of video on the Extras channel, then drop down in the comments. See you guys next time here on Poor Man's Pitch Out. Bye-bye. Thanks again from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. I love every single one of you. You guys are rock, and you guys are fucking awesome. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went in his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And oh, black yeah. people don't take a bath. Oh my god! They got these. They get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my god! And the talk about lice. Oh my god! And the women are just as they. Oh God, no! I was like, "What the?" Oh, they stink that bad. Oh, and their clothes are probably all just ugh, you know. Oh, yeah, I had one of them.